if there's one thing I like to do, it's take pictures, especially with digital cameras. But what do you do with those thousands of photos you get once you've taken them? We've got Colin Smith from Adobe joining us today. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, we want to talk about Adobe Photoshop Elements, uh, the latest version 6. And uh, I've been using this uh, particular program for a number of years now, pretty well for the organizing features, but there's so much more you can do it. But let's start with organizing your photos. Like I've got, I think, about 15,000 photos now. And if you've got kids, I mean, you probably are getting up there too. Yes, definitely. So organizing photos is a big thing because not only do you want to bring them into your computer, you want to be able to find them later. So we can do that in a number of ways. Tagging is probably the, the way that most people do it, where you have a tag for family and a tag for mom and a tag for dad, so they're easy to find. But we thought, why don't we make smart tagging? So we now have smart albums. For instance, we can find everything that was shot on a certain camera or a certain size or megapixel or whether something is portrait or landscape. Find me all of those shots. Very cool. So let's talk about some of the, uh, the editing features. These, this is always the fun stuff. So sure. what's, what's new? Well, one thing that's incredibly new is photo merge technology and guided editing. We know that people that are using Photoshop Elements aren't geniuses. They're buying a camera and they want to get stuff done. They want to tell their story fast. So we thought, why don't we give them tools to guide them through? Here's a typical example. You're taking some of those shots of kids and they're moving around. You want to get a group shot, they're closing their eyes, they're not paying attention, they're not looking at the camera. Maybe you have two photos <clears throat> with one that's good and one that's not so good. So that's what we'll do first of all. We're going to look at a photo of these two kids and in this example here, we like the two kids on the right. We don't like the blue uh, shirted uh, kid on the left, so we want him it's to not change. not that we don't like him, it's no. just he's not looking the right way. He's not looking the right way. And on this one, he is. Okay, this is like all my kids' photos. <laughs> so they're not paying attention. So here's what we're going to do. We'll select both of these, and then we'll choose Guided Edit. And this is what's new in Photoshop Elements 6. Guided editing is a way to help people make their edits. On the right hand side we have some choices of what would you like to do? Crop a photo, lighten it, enhance it, and down to the bottom here is photo merge group shot. So I'll simply hold my control key down, select two shots, and then click on the word group shot. They're automatically taken into a brand new easy to use interface and we'll start from here. On the right hand side it tells us that we should have our best shot on the right hand side. So I'm going to simply drag this shot to the right hand side. That's the one where the two boys look good. And the one on the left will be the boys that don't look good. So now we have a shot on the left where we want parts of it brought into the shot on the right. What, what's happening here? You can see there's some... Very good. You're very observant, Mike. What's happening here is as you're bringing the two photos in, Photoshop looks at the similarities and then aligns them. So now they're perfectly aligned. And what happened here was somebody was holding the camera while they were shooting and they moved a little bit. So they're not exactly aligned in the camera. Photoshop knows you want to edit them and it aligns them. Okay. The next step is the simplest one. We simply use the pencil tool to draw a line over top of the image we want to bring into the right. So that's the boy with the blue shirt. I'll simply paint down here, let go, pop. I'll get goes. out. <laughs> it's that easy. You don't have to cut him out. No, you don't have to mask him, worry about the edges. You just say, I want that in there. Can you do that again? Sure can. I'll just undo real quick. And again, simply use the pencil tool and paint down there and pop. There we go. That is amazing. I mean, that would fix like hundreds of my, <laughs> my kids' group shots. Exactly. Like I've got three kids and there's never any of them where they're all looking at the camera at the same time. So, uh, I mean, that saves like tons of time. I mean, it does. In the old programs there, you had to go in there and cut the line out and then bring it in and then hopefully make sure the edges are all aligned and everything yep, as well. And now it just works perfectly. Well, what about slideshows? Uh, you know, a lot of people take these photos and they want to share them. Sure. And they want to create slideshows. Okay, so let's have a look at slideshows. I'm simply going to go back to my organizer and grab six shots of this wedding and we go to the Create tab. Very simple user interface. What are we going to do? Create, fix, um, or share and I'll create a slideshow and lots of programs have slideshows there's good ones there's bad ones this one happens to be one of the good ones and easy ones first of all we have choices of how long are each one of the pictures we'll say five seconds and we'll leave all the defaults and click OK 
It brings our six photos in, and remember this could have been 600 photos, but it brings our six photos in. If I just click play right now, then we've got a slideshow with each photo five seconds with a nice little two second transition. But if we want to take this a step further, something that I like to do is pan and zoom. Yep. In fact, on this image here, I want to start by zooming into the, uh, the groom's face and then pan over to the bride and then zoom out. Very simple to do. On the right hand side, you enable something called pan and zoom. I mean, this is the kind of thing you'd see on like the biography channel when they're zooming in the old photos. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Yeah. So you simply drag around an area where you want to start your shot, which is showing the groom, and I want to end around the bride. So if we play this, it starts from him. Oh, very and cool. And moves over to her. I mean, this is why you'd want a good megapixel camera, too, so that you right. can zoom in on these things without exactly. it looking all blurry. Sure, and you can have a whole group shot and do that. But that looks cool. I mean, that looks like the stuff you'd see on TV, and you just basically have to drag the boxes. Yeah, That's very cool. easy to do, and you can save this and change it later. So if you have different ideas, you can do that. And on the right-hand side, you've got titles and graphics and narration. You can record directly into your computer the narration right over top of the slideshow. And if they wanted to add music, they could just drop that sure. in and, and create it. So after that, easy to burn to DVD? You sure, definitely. Look at the output button up at the top. You simply click and you output as a file, as a movie file, as a PDF slideshow, or burn it to disk either as DVD or VCD. You can send it out to a multimedia PC, and you can even send it out to Premiere Elements, our video editing application. So what are some other ways you can share these things besides the the DVD and, and the slideshow. You can build books that, that get sent out and those are hardbound books that get printed and you receive them back in the mail. You can create online video galleries. You can send these to email. You can send them to a phone. Basically anywhere you can see pixels, you can send things from Photoshop Element 6. Very cool. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And people can find out more about it at Adobe.com. Adobe.com, definitely. Colin Smith from Adobe talking about Photoshop Element 6.